Well, Dr. Is, Jen yeah. has uh, some amazing animal stories, but she also <laughs> has some medical <laughs> advice for you. So let's get to your first question. How soon after having a breakthrough case of COVID-19 can I receive <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is get this is a really common question, you guys, because a there are n not few cases of breakthrough, and of course now there's a big push to get everyone boosted. There are a couple of caveats here. Number one, you don't want to get your booster in the ten days where you're supposed to be isolating. So that's take ten days out of the picture. If you've gotten treated with Regeneron monoclonal antibodies, then the recommendation is to wait ninety days. And the reason you're hearing wait 90 days is not really because there's a risk of getting the booster within that 90 day period. It's more that it's not really needed because the thinking is that your own natural protection is really solid for a 90 day period. After that, it drops off pretty quickly. And that's when data has really shown us that the boost the booster or vaccination after 90 days in conjunction with natural infection gives you the best immunity. Does it do any harm if you get your booster too soon? I mean, it's just not going to be effective, but it doesn't really do any it's harm. It's not that it, 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 correct, it doesn't do any harm, and it's not that it won't be effective. It's that it's kind of a waste, waste. of gotcha. that time window when you have your body's own natural protection. After 90 days, that natural protection goes away pretty quickly, and then you do need that booster. All right, another question here has to do with New Year's resolutions. I really want to stay on track with my New Year resolutions, but I've never been able to follow through. What's the best way to stay motivated? Well, I mean, when you find out the answer to this question, please let me know uh -huh. because I struggle with this also. But if you ask psychologists um, or social workers, the number one tip that they give with any kind of, you know, challenge or resolution or mission that you're on is to do, do it with someone or in some way that helps mm. keep you accountable. Yes. Um, and whether you want to have fun with that and use that line, misery loves company, or whether it's just someone that yeah. you know, I mean, you, you live this with your running group and your friends and your squad and TJ, like when you say you're going to do it, you're going to do it when other people are involved. So that's 100%. the number one tip. A hundred percent. That's great advice. I got TJ to run a half marathon. He's going to do it. In I March. heard. So that's so exciting. I will be waiting for you at the finish line. <laughs> he got Thank the you. email. <laughs> he got the email. He I was here when he got it. Amy, I was here when he got it. Yeah. He was so excited. And how did I, what did I say out you loud? Were, um, well, I can't okay. remember that right now. <laughs> we'll do it. All right. You can keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.